Welcome. My name is Sheila and I'm the co-owner here along with my sister Lisa at the Satin Crystals Boutique. And today we're going to have an overview of a venturing stone its meanings, and answer your top five questions about aventuring. At the end, I'll also reveal our personal experiences with aventuring, and I'd love to hear your aventuring stories as well. What is aventuring? So aventuring is a form of quartz crystal, and it shows flake-like inclusions that give the stone a sparkle. This phenomenon actually has a name, so it's called aventurescence. Aventuring with aventurescence. The top five questions we're going to answer about aventuring today are, what color is aventuring? What are its healing properties? What is aventuring glass? What is aventuring used for? And is jade aventuring? What color is aventuring? So as we said before, aventuring is a form of quartz. And depending on what kind of inclusions are within the quartz crystal, will determine what type or color of aventuring you will get. So the most common one is this green aventuring. It varies from light pale green all the way to dark forest green. And the colors are caused by a stone called fuchsite. And it sparks with mica inclusions. There's also the blue version of aventuring, which varies from pale blue all the way to a dark navy blue. And the colors on blue aventuring are caused by demortiorite. We also have a red aventuring. So the little red aventuring ganache here is a dark red and a light orange is also called red aventuring sometimes. And this is caused by hematite and goatite minerals. There's also a purple aventuring, which varies from dark to light, almost pinkish uh, purple. And the purple version is caused by one of my favorite stones, lapidolite minerals, so purple lapidolite. So those are the most common colors you'll find of aventuring in the gem market. There are other colors like the yellow or the white colors. Uh, there's also a silvery or a gray one. What are the healing properties of aventuring? So aventuring is most popularly known as a stone of abundance. So whatever kind of abundance you are seeking, be it wealth or health or friends, love, family, what have you, aventuring is a great stone for manifesting this. Besides being a prosperity stone, aventuring is also great for enhancing your creativity, for your leadership skills, your decision making, making that decision, and it's great for negating any environmental pollution. What is aventuring glass? So in the 1600s, it was a man-made stone of glass and copper flecks that they called Aventura. So you can see the confusion between the glass version of Aventurine and the real thing. So here are two pieces of Aventurine glass, which is now known as gold stone. This is the dark navy blue version. And this is a piece of the golden brown version. So you can see the little chipped area. So luckily now it's called gold stone. So not many people call it aventuring glass, but if you, somebody does, you will know that it's not the real thing. And it's pretty easy to tell between real aventuring and aventuring glass especially if you're familiar with stones, because the aventurine has very distinct copper flecks. So they're bright and pretty uh, consistent within the stone. And also the glass is opaque. It doesn't have any color banding, whereas in aventurine you'll see the light and the darker versions of the stone within the same piece. So that's aventurine glass. What is aventurine used for? So an interesting discovery happened in Ethiopia. They dated this back to two and a half million years ago. A venturing, along with a, a bunch of other quartz, was found in tool form. So this is because a venturing is a very hard stone, but is brittle enough to make into sharp points. So it's very easy to carve. Um, here's a little snake carving in the venturing. Obviously this is not a tool, but today we can use them for ornamentation. 
Other ideas that we can use a venturing for today include wearing them as jewelry. So for your personal power, for your adornment, for your abundance. And also using the tumble stones. So the tumble stones you can program uh, what you want, your desires, your manifestations, and then you just place them in your pocket or your purse. And as you go along through the day, whenever you happen to feel them, you're reminded again of what you should be focusing on. And as we said, Aventurine was good for negating environmental pollution. So if you have any potted plants, you can place little tumbled Aventurines right into the pot to help the plants and reduce any stress in the environment. Another thing you can use Aventurine for is when you're working with the heart chakra and malachite, you can use Aventurine because Aventurine has a much uh, more soothing energy, so it counteracts the strong energies of malachite. So I would use them together at the heart chakra for more balanced energies. So these are just a few of the ways you can use Aventurine today. We have more ideas on our Aventurine article at Satin Crystals. Is jade the same as Aventurine? No, they are totally different stones. So Aventurine is a much harder stone, and as we said, it is a form of quartz. Whereas Jade comes from Jadeite or Nephrite minerals. Also, we talked about the Aventurescence of Aventurine, so that it'll have some sparkling inclusions within, and Jade will not have this phenomenon. Also, if you're buying the real thing, Jade will be much more pricey than Aventurine. So those are the answers to your top five questions about Aventurine. But before I go, I want to tell you our personal experiences with Aventurine. So my first experience with Aventurine is actually related to our last question with Jade versus Aventurine. So in the beginning of Satin Crystals, in the early 2000s, we used to show and sell at trade shows. And we were just starting out, we, I didn't even make jewelry back then. So we would buy jewelry ready-made from our vendors in India. And one day I remember I was sitting at the booth and a lady came by and she was looking through our necklace rack and I had written all the little names of the crystals on the tag. And she looked at one of them that said Jade and she got really disgruntled and mumbled something about it not being Jade and how we shouldn't be advertising it as Jade. And she walked away before I could ask her anything else. But then that got me thinking and so I decided to go and look up the jade and it actually turned out to be an adventuring. So adventuring is actually in India, the vendors had told us it was jade because they call it Indian jade. So from then on out, I knew I better research and not just blindly trust the person I was selling it from, especially if they're international, they might have a different name for it. Another thing that I used adventuring from for from the very beginning was for abundance and I really fell in love with these little tiny Aventurine Ganesh figurines. So they're great for removing obstacles and also the Aventurine is great for abundance. So when we had a satin crystals uh, retail shop, we would place them on our cash register. And now that we're online, I have these two little ones and I place them right at my computer since I'm always working over there. I think of one as me and one as my sister Lisa. My sister Lisa also is remembering our Aventurine Ganeshas in the store and she also reminded me that we placed Citrine in the cash register so that we can have a flow of money. She was also saying how she has all of her treasures now in a cash box at home which was given to her by our grandmother when she was a kid and she has like all the fresh minted two dollar bills and silver coins and other kinds of rare uh, currencies in there and of course she has both a citrine and an adventuring stone for abundance money and wealth what kind of stories do you have about adventuring do you also use it for abundance or any other kind of purposes let us know. We'd love to hear your positive comments anytime. Please do subscribe to our channel for additional crystal healing videos. And as always, thank you for your positive presence at Satin Crystals.